square root of x plus x minus 12 under square root equals to 6. Find the value of x. So if we subtract both the side to square root of x, then we have square root of x minus square root of x plus x minus 12 under square root equals to 6 minus square root of x. This plus square root of x minus square root of x gets cancelled. We have x minus 12 under square root equals to 6 minus square root of x. Now let's square both the sides. x minus 12 whole square under square root whole square equals to 6 minus square root of x whole square. We remove the square root with the square. So this is x minus 12 equals to this is in the form of a minus b whole square so we can write it as a square minus 2ab plus b square so we can write 6 square minus 2 times 6 times square root of x plus square root of x square or x minus 12 equals to 6 square is 36 minus 6 times 2 is 12 times square root of x plus remove the square root with the square x again plus x and plus x both the side gets cancelled because we can send plus x to the left hand side it will be minus x and then it's subtraction so minus 12 equals to 36 minus 12 times square root of x or minus 12 Send 36 to the left hand side it is minus 36 equals to minus 12 times square root of x or minus 48 equals to minus 12 times square root of x. Now divide both the side by minus 12. So minus minus gets cancelled. 12 and 12 gets cancelled. So 4 equals to square root of x. To remove the square root again square both the sides. Therefore, remove the square root with the square x equals to 16. Now, let's verify this solution. So, when x equals to 16, 16 under square root plus 16 minus 12 under square root. This should be equal to 6. 16 under square root equals to 4 plus 16 minus 12 is 4. So, 4 under square root. 4 plus square root of 4 is 2. So, 4 plus 2 equals to 6. Therefore, LHS equals to RHS. We can also solve this question by squaring both the side in the first step also. So, if we square both the sides, so it is square root of x square plus x minus 12 under square root square plus 2 times square root of x times x minus 12 under square root or we can write it under square root like this equals to 36 now remove the square root with this square also remove the square root with this square so it is x plus x minus 12 plus 2 times x square x times x minus 12 under square root equals to 36 or 2x plus 2 times x times x minus 12 under square root we send minus 12 to the right hand side it will be 36 plus 12 again take 2 here common so it is x plus x times x minus 12 under square root equals to 48 divide both the sides by 2 so equals to 24 now we have x plus x minus x square minus 12 x equals to 24 or we can send x to the right hand side it will be x square minus 12x under square root equals to 24 minus x now square root both the sides now square both the sides remove the square root with this square so it is x square minus 12x this side we will have 24 square plus 2 times minus 2 times 24 times x plus x square now remove x square and x square minus 12x 24 times 2 is 48 so this side plus 48x equals to 24 square so this is equal to 36x 
equals to 24 square or we can write 24 times 24 divide both the side by 36 3 times 12 is 36 3 times 8 is 24 12 times 2 is 24 or x is equal to 8 times 2 is 16 so in this way we can find the value of x but this is a lengthier process which process did you like more let me know in the comment section thanks for watching